Hi, Abigail Joy here. I'm with Shiv Gupta. He's the CEO of Crypto Conversation. So Shiv, thank you so much for interviewing with me. What made you want to be a part of the International Blockchain Congress? Well, thank you so much, Abigail, for having me here on this channel. Now, one of the best things that happened with the International Blockchain Congress, and it's such an important event, and the reason I'll tell you why, because if you know the situation in India right now, people are excited about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, blockchain technology. However, the regulatory approach is not yet very clear. You know, so this happened to be one of the, those events where people are really excited to come here and really see what is going on in the space. Yeah. So for me, I think this is a most important event that could have, we could have ever asked for at this point in time. Yeah, and there was a lot of attendees. So I think a lot of people have been learning a lot about cryptocurrency, people that are new to the space as well. Um, and then your channel covers a lot of current crypto news and you do a lot of interviews. What do you think is the most important topic right now or things that people are most interested in? Well, of course, Abigail, it's a very good question. You see, uh, with the blockchain, it's I think it's the Internet 2.0. So just like Internet, when Internet came up, you know, a lot of new businesses were formed, new, it was restructured, and all of a sudden you had new companies like Facebook, Google, becoming the new millennials and billionaire. Right. And I think it's the same kind of opportunity that the blockchain is providing. However, the one main difference, now that this time, even a normal man, a common man, individual have an opportunity to become the part of that company, the yeah. next big company, right. which was not the case earlier. You know, yeah. you couldn't invest uh, in Facebook, you couldn't invest in Google. You know? yeah. Today, that's the opportunity that everyone has. Right. And so obviously, uh, with that sentiments, you know, uh, so let's say if investors do have a lot of uh, excitement around the whole space as to where the investment is heading. So I think the most common question that we have uh, yeah. in the community is that what is the next big project? Yeah. So what is the next Bitcoin? Right. What should I, you know? And also, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, curious, curiosity as to how the regulators are looking at. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it's been a great, and that is why I say the International, International Blockchain Congress has been one of those events, because this got a lot of government officials on right. board to yeah. talk about it, really understand their point of view. Right, and it was co-hosted by the Indian government, which, which was really good, yeah. Niti because, Ayog. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And because um, India has been a little bit of weary of cryptocurrencies, it seems like they're getting a little bit more comfortable with the idea right now, which is great. Um, and then what do you predict for Bitcoin's price at the end of the year? I know a lot of people don't like to answer that one, but I figured I would ask you because it's, it's a fun question. and. A lot of people want to know. Yeah, it's a fun question and it's, yeah. uh, it's a very important question as well. You right. know, this is what how I look at it. Uh, a lot of people actually ask me that, what's the best time to buy Bitcoin? Yeah. I said that if, it's, if it is going to the moon, you can buy it any time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Every time is the up. best time. Yeah. Uh, so, but uh, coming back to the prediction, I think uh, I remember Bitcoin in 2016, uh, 2017, January was the first time it hit the $1,000 yeah. mark. And then by the... December, just about 11 months, it was up to 19,000. Yeah. <laughs> so almost a growth of $18,000. But again, it's last down to in January coming, right now we are talking about seven and a half, eight thousand dollars $8,000. See, something that keeps me exciting about excited about this is we might see that the Bitcoin price has not grown compared to what it was in uh, December, but in terms of adoption, in terms of uh, the media talking about it, yeah. the mainstream media, uh, in terms of regulators looking at it, the SEC, you know, I think we have come a long way. And so, uh, talking about the price, I think uh, the way the we are talking about the uh, Bitcoin ETF and futures trading, uh, I do think that uh, Bitcoin is anywhere going to be touching around twenty twenty five thousand dollars, in my opinion, by the end of this year. That's a, yeah, I think that's a good prediction. Um, so you talked a little bit about some adoption. What when do you think that we will reach mass adoption? That's a good question, actually. Uh, you see, it's not it's not going to just happen overnight. Right. Like you know, yeah. like next year we are like fully adopted. It's it's a gradual process. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I remember the number of users for Bitcoin was very less in compared to 2015, 2016, 2017. I mean, anyone can go ahead and look at the number of transactions happening on the blockchain public ledger. It's today it's in millions. You know. Wow. So I think we are uh, we are heading uh, as right now. I think the use cases that we have is for Bitcoin and yeah. it's for Ethereum and but other crypto projects as well. So, but I think uh, in, during the next decade, maybe in the next 10 years, I think everything that exists in the world will be 
based on blockchain. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. And if you would like to check out his channel, it's Crypto Conversation on YouTube and CryptoConversation.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, Abigail. Of course. Thank you.